Imagine hot, crispy fries smothered in rich gravy and topped with squeaky cheese curds. Yes, we're talking about poutine, a quintessential Canadian street food originating from Quebec. The story of poutine begins in the rural heartland of Quebec, where it was born out of a desire for hearty, comforting food. It was the 1950s when a trucker asked Fernand Lachance, a restaurant owner in Warwick, to throw cheese curds on his fries. Little did he know, this simple request would birth a dish that would become a Canadian culinary emblem. Poutine quickly wormed its way into the fabric of Canadian culture, from the bustling streets of Montreal to the remote corners of Newfoundland. This dish, once seen as a humble offering from Quebec, transcended provincial boundaries and became a nationwide sensation. Today you can find poutine in the most upscale restaurants and the coziest food trucks, each serving their version of this beloved dish. The beauty of poutine lies in its simplicity and the balance of its elements. The fries must be hot and crispy providing a sturdy base for the toppings. The cheese curds, a byproduct of cheese making are fresh and squeaky, providing a delightful textural contrast. And then comes the gravy, a rich brown sauce that brings everything together, melting the cheese curds slightly and turning the dish into a gooey, savory delight. But poutine is more than just a dish. It's a symbol of Canadian culinary innovation and diversity. It's a testament to the country's love for comfort food, and its ability to turn simple ingredients into something truly extraordinary. Poutine has also inspired numerous variations. From lobster poutine in Nova Scotia to vegan poutine in Toronto, the possibilities are as diverse as the Canadian landscape itself. Whether you like your poutine classic or with a twist, one thing is certain. It's a dish that's deeply satisfying and undeniably Canadian. So, next time you're in Canada, don't miss out on this savory, satisfying dish that's a staple at many street food festivals. Because a trip to Canada isn't complete without a taste of its culinary heart, poutine. Moving on to the sweeter side of Canadian street food, let's explore beaver tails and maple taffy. Imagine a pastry, flat and elongated, resembling the tail of Canada's national animal, the beaver. This is the iconic beaver tail, a delightful treat that's as Canadian as maple syrup. Made from whole wheat dough that's stretched by hand and deep fried to a crispy golden brown, beaver tails are as much a joy to watch being made as they are to eat. The pastry alone is a delicious indulgence, but it's the toppings that truly make beaver tails special. From the classic cinnamon sugar to the extravagant chocolate hazelnut spread sprinkled with crushed cookies and candy, the options are endless, and each one is a sweet journey into the heart of Canadian cuisine. Now, Let's journey from the bustling city streets to the snowy landscapes of rural Canada, where we'll find another sweet treat. Maple taffy. This is a seasonal delicacy, typically made during the late winter and early spring when the sap from maple trees is collected and boiled down into syrup. The hot syrup is then poured onto fresh snow, where it hardens into a chewy candy on a stick. The process of making maple taffy is a time-honored tradition often celebrated at sugaring off parties and winter carnivals across Canada. The result is a sweet, sticky treat that truly encapsulates the essence of Canadian winter. Both beaver tails and maple taffy are more than just delicious snacks. They're representative of the Canadian spirit, embodying the country's love for nature, its ingenuity, and its penchant for simple, hearty comfort food. Whether you're in a bustling city square or a quaint countryside fair, these treats are a testament to Canada's culinary diversity. So, the next time you find yourself wandering the streets of Canada, be sure to keep an eye out for these sweet delights. With their unique shapes, enticing flavors, and the warm memories they bring, they're sure to make your culinary journey all the more memorable. These sweet treats are perfect for satisfying your sweet tooth while exploring the streets of Canada. If you're looking for a hearty meal, Jig's Dinner and Bannock are two Canadian street foods you must try. A tale of two dishes, each with its own rich history and unique flavors, yet both embodying the spirit of Canadian cuisine. First on the menu is Jig's Dinner, a dish that holds a special place in the hearts of those from Newfoundland and Labrador. The origins of this meal can be traced back to the traditional Sunday dinners of this region, where families would gather around the table for a feast of salt beef or corned beef, boiled alongside a medley of vegetables. Think cabbage, carrots, turnips and potatoes, all melding together in a symphony of flavors. Often this hearty ensemble is served with a savory dressing or gravy, adding another layer of delicious complexity to the dish. Jiggs's dinner is not just a meal, it's a testament to the importance of family and community in Newfoundland and Labrador. Next we journey into the world of Bannock, 
a type of bread that has been a staple among indigenous peoples in Canada for centuries. Bannock is a testament to the resourcefulness and resilience of these communities. Traditionally, it is cooked over an open flame resulting in a bread that is crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. It can be enjoyed plain or topped with sweet or savory fillings. From wild berry jam to honey or even a hearty stew, the possibilities are endless. Bannock is more than just bread, it is a symbol of survival and cultural continuity. While vastly different, Jiggs's dinner and Bannock share a common thread. They are both dishes steeped in history, reflecting the diverse cultural tapestry that is Canada. They offer a taste of the nation's past, as well as its present. They are a celebration of Canadian culinary heritage, a testament to the country's diversity, and a delicious exploration of flavors. These dishes not only fill your stomach but also offer a taste of Canada's rich cultural heritage. When it comes to desserts, Canada doesn't disappoint. Let's delve into the sweet world of butter tarts and Nanaimo bars. First, let's talk about butter tarts. They are a true Canadian classic, a sweet treat that has been beloved for generations. Imagine a flaky, buttery pastry shell cradling a gooey mixture of melted butter, sugar, and sometimes raisins or pecans. The filling is dense and sweet, with a caramel-like consistency that can range from runny to firm, depending on personal preference. They're bite-sized delights that are perfect for snacking on the go, and you can find them at street food festivals, local bakeries, and even some supermarkets across Canada. Now, onto Nanaimo bars. Named after the city of Nanaimo in British Columbia, these no-bake bars are a layered dessert that requires no introduction. The base layer is a crumbly amalgamation of crushed graham crackers, cocoa, and coconut. On top of that sits a middle layer of creamy, custard-flavored butter icing. Lastly, a glossy layer of melted chocolate crowns the bar, creating a three-layered treat that is as decadent as it is delicious. The contrasting textures of the crunchy base, soft custard filling and velvety chocolate topping make each bite an exciting adventure. Both butter tarts and Nanaimo bars are quintessentially Canadian. These desserts not only satisfy your sweet tooth but also provide a delightful glimpse into the country's culinary heritage. Whether you're wandering through a bustling food festival in Toronto or enjoying a quiet afternoon in a Vancouver bakery, you're likely to come across these tempting treats, and when you do, don't hesitate to indulge. After all, experiencing local cuisine is a vital part of absorbing the culture of any place you visit. So next time you find yourself in Canada, seek out these sweet delights. Butter tarts and Nanimo bars may not be the first thing that comes to mind when you think of Canadian street food, but they are an integral part of the country's food scene. These delectable Canadian desserts are sure to leave a lasting impression on your palate. Last but not least, let's talk about Montreal-style bagels, a Canadian twist on a classic. This isn't your average bagel. Montreal-style bagels are smaller, denser, and have a distinct sweetness that sets them apart from their New York counterparts. The secret? They're boiled in honey-sweetened water before being baked in a wood-fired oven. This unique process gives them a slightly sweet flavor and a deliciously unique texture, crunchy on the outside yet soft and chewy on the inside. And let's not forget the larger hole in the middle, making these bagels perfect for loading up with your favorite spreads or fillings. From cream cheese to smoked salmon, the possibilities are endless. Some might argue that the Montreal-style bagel is a league of its own, and we couldn't agree more. So whether you prefer your bagel sweet or savory, make sure to try a Montreal-style bagel when in Canada. From savory poutine to sweet beaver tails, hearty jigs dinner to delectable butter tarts, Canadian street food offers a diverse range of flavors. We've embarked on a culinary journey across Canada, exploring the multicultural mosaic that is reflected in its street food. We've savored the rich, savory poutine, a quintessential dish from Quebec. We've indulged in the sweet delight of beaver tails and the chewy, sugary goodness of maple taffy. We've enjoyed the hearty Jigs dinner from Newfoundland and Labrador, and the traditional bannock bread of the indigenous peoples. And how could we forget the sweet treats of butter tarts and Nanaimo bars? or the unique taste and texture of Montreal-style bagels. Each street food item tells a story, each carries a taste of Canada's rich culinary heritage. Next time you're in Canada, make sure to explore its culinary streets and taste the diversity of this beautiful country. Until then, keep exploring and keep tasting.